Lastly, a Republican and Democrat Dick Durbin talking about the Toomey Mansion gun bill earlier today. It's a very important legislation. Uh, the American people might be wondering why the Senate has not been voting on any amendments to the pending gun legislation. The Senate voted on Thursday to proceed to the bill. This uh, followed calls that this uh, Senate should debate the bill, and so that's why I just said I'm glad that we're getting there. And uh, there has been very little debate. The President has said that various proposals deserve a vote, and uh, we on this side of the aisle don't intend to stand in the way of, of proceeding on those votes, particularly on the amendments. Uh, and I hope we're able to vote very soon. Last week, Senator Manchin and Toomey unveiled an amendment on background checks. The media hailed the agreement as a way to pass gun control. The majority leader announced that the Manchin-Toomey amendment would be the first one that we would vote on. But uh, just starting the debate now, obviously we haven't voted, so hopefully we'll get to the vote. Now, we haven't voted because Despite claims from the other side, background checks are not and never have been the sweet spot of gun control debate. We haven't voted on it because supporters don't have the votes to pass it, at least at this point that's the way it appears to me. And I think they know it. Uh, they don't have the votes even though published reports indicate that Vice President Biden the President of the Senate has been calling senators and asking them to support the Manchin-Toomey bill. They must not be telling him what he wants to hear. They don't have the votes for background checks, even though the Vice President has reportedly stated that the op opposition to the proposal comes only from, quote-unquote, the black helicopter crowd. Well, it doesn't come from that point. Manchin Toomey would impose new obligations on law-abiding gun owners. It would do so even though expanding gun background checks would have done nothing to stop Newtown or other mass killings. It would do so even though expanding background checks would do nothing to prevent these killings in the future. Uh, I often quote the deputy director of the National Institute of Justice, uh, and it was recently, uh, that institute and that person recently wrote that background checks could work only if they were universal and were accompanied by gun registration. And of course, most members of the Senate oppose gun registration. They know what has happened historically with gun registration. It has led in other countries to confiscation. And w uh, members of the Senate, but more importantly, lots of people appearing at our town meetings fear that and don't want to go down that road. The background check amendments claims to strengthen the rights of gun owners. But in fact, it does not. The fact is, the opposite is true. So opposition to the amendment does not come from fringe elements of society. In fact, one of the reasons that the Senate hasn't voted on the amendment is the wi widespread opposition to the amendment for many quarters. If only fringe elements had problems with it, we would be voting on this amendment. So keep watching. If we do not vote on Manchin Toomey, it means that the proponents of that idea know that they don't have the votes to pass it. If we, uh, if we turn to assault weapons or magazines, then it is clear to all that the majority knows it is far from the number of votes they need. So I think people are going to be waiting for time while they try to pick up the votes that probably will never be there. Meanwhile, on this side of the aisle, our caucus hopes to have their amendments considered soon and vote on those amendments. Our amendments, unlike Manchin Toomey, 
will actually strengthen the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding gun owners and help thwart gun violence by criminals. In fact, there are reports that the other side of the aisle want to block one of our amendments that would do exactly that. So I lay out what I think is the situation. Now, maybe there's leaders around here would dispute me, but that's the way I see it. The majority doesn't have the votes to pass their amendment, so we aren't voting. And the majority wants to block Republican amendments that they fear would pass. So we are either voting on, so we aren't voting on the Republican one either. The Senate voted to proceed to the bill. The Senate voted to debate. The Senate was promised an open amendment process. That would mean conducting votes, conducting votes on the various amendments that will be offered. But so far, that has not happened. Maybe soon, I hope it happens. So I ask the audience to stay tuned, and I yield the floor. Thank you very much. Mr. President.